The day after the NFC Championship game, after that horrible non-call, the blown call, one that I've called here on this show the worst blown call or non-call I've ever seen, um, that we were we were sensing at the time it was going to have a couple of news cycles left in it. That to fill the void between knowing that the Rams and Patriots were playing in Super Bowl 53 and the actual kickoff to Super Bowl 53, we knew there would be some time spent kicking rocks, talking about things, filling time. And that the NFC Championship game would still linger as a conversation. And at some point, at some point, we would turn the page and focus all our energies on the Rams and the Patriots playing. And I think today is the day where we're finally going to talk about it one last time and turn the page. And by that, I mean the commissioner's speaking today and will have questions posed of him in the varying, much more respectable form of how bad did the referees suck that day, <laughs> Roger? Yep. <laughs> much more respect. But that's going right. to be when you boil it all down. Like if we put the question in a pot and turned the heat up, when you boil it all down, what's left would right. be how bad did the referees suck that day? So in some form of that, and are you firing the ref? Right. Anyone? Are you any, anybody going to lose their gigs? What are you going to do to make sure it doesn't happen again? On that question, we heard today from Adam Schefter, our good buddy from the Worldwide Leader in Sports, that the NFL is likely to, co to consider judgment challenge, a judgment challenge. I challenge your, ju your judgment, sir. I do not challenge whether you saw a foot in bounds, whether you saw a ball leave the hand in time for it to be considered a fumble instead of an incomplete pass. I challenge your judgment on whether that is pass interference or not, whether that is a hold or not. I don't know what would be in the bucket of challengeable plays for something that is being called a judgment challenge. But as you know, we talked about it last week with the former head of NFL refs, Mike Prayer, who now is a rules analyst for Fox. We talked about it last week with Stephen Jones, who is – as we know, a Cowboys executive of note and who is on the competition committee who will be discussing this subject and forwarding it to the membership, the ownership to vote on in March. And they all seem to sense that they get we're pissed about what happened. And as fans, we're wondering how it can be prevented again. But the question is, do we really want to open up pass interference or not to replay? Do we want to take human error, judgment calls, and open it up to replay, to which I have said many, many moons, including in light of the NFC Championship game. Hell yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I want to make sure what we saw in, in, in New Orleans doesn't happen again. And I want to make sure that if we're seeing it at home on our beautiful televisions in 4K or what have you, that if we're seeing it on our couch, you should be able to use it in real time to correct something that is a glaring error. So yes, and don't expand the number of challenges available to a head coach because we don't need to extend the game. We don't want every single play that is ruled a certain way to be challenged. We want this still to have an, an ebb and flow of a game. We want human element to be involved. But if something like that happens, let's figure out a way to prevent it. So according to Adam Schefter, that they're going to consider a judgment challenge with a penalty disincentive. What does that mean? <laughs> so you challenge, I say that's pass interference. You get it wrong. Apparently, you don't lose a timeout like you would for a normal challenge. You'd get a penalty flag thrown on you. You say my penalty is wrong. Well, after further review, I penalize you, sir. <laughs> now, I don't know what that would be. 10 yards, 15 yards, 5 yards. But not, I, not five. I I I I kind of dig, I kind of dig that. I kind of dig it too. Yeah, I kind of dig that. You have to think twice before you challenge a judgment call. You better know for sure. You yep. better get it right, or they're considering a clock runoff potentially, which I'd imagine would be in the last two minutes when you really better get it right. But a penalty disincentive, I kind of dig that. 
And would they, if they do that, would there be a special challenge per half outside of the normal challenges for a judgment challenge? Or would just a judgment challenge be part of the two that you get that you need to get right to get your third? And thus, it's now just a special judgment challenge. I challenge the judgment call. So if I get it wrong, it's a penalty on me of march it back 10 yards. I kind of like that. You like the 15. That's particularly. I, I like 15 yards. That's a lot. Of here's, what else I, here's what else I want. Regular challenge, red flag. Judgment challenge, blue flag. Ooh, I like it. But then now Belichick's got one in each sock. One in each sock. And yeah. then you, what if you pull out the wrong one and you throw it in? I don't know. I think just the, let's keep it simple. Okay. One flag. Spitball in here. Well, cause, no, because at this point, if this happens, it's kind of absurd. Yellow flag, then red flag. And if red flag incorrectly challenges yellow flag, another yellow flag. So it could go yellow, red, yellow. Well, it's non. It's flags are flying flag everywhere, flags different everywhere. colors. It's like a Crayola happening. box has exploded. I don't know what's happening. We're wondering who's who's right, who's wrong. But I do like this. I think this is a smart way to this go about it. This is innovative and progressive, which I like. Yes, I do like it, and, and I, I like the idea that you better know that you are aggrieved. You better be a hundred percent sure that a foul should, should have been called or was committed on the play before you throw that foul. Otherwise, you're, so it's, it's first and 10, incomplete pass. You thought it should be pass interference. You want another first and 10. Instead, it would now be second, down counts. Yeah, lost it and down. And 25. Right, second and 25. You better be sure. You better be right. Which would make a coach think twice before doing this sort of thing. I like it. And I like it. It also has something for the commissioner to pull out of his back pocket saying, yeah, I know you're, a lot of you folks out there thought I was ducking you. Again, it's not how he would say it. The same way that the question won't be phrased of how bad did the referee suck. I know you all thought I was ducking you, but really, what do you want me to say? Just come out and say the obvious, yeah, our ref sucked. Here's the thing. We wish it was a different result. We're looking at other options. One of them is, in fact, something that is called a judgment challenge with a penalty disincentive. Your thoughts? I like it. And then we also found out Schefter, just as a cherry on top, threw out a quote I guess he got from Sean Payton. I don't know if it's a text he got from Sean Payton or not. But according to him, Sean Payton, he has quoted Payton on how did he handle the NFC Championship game loss because we have not heard from him since he had his postgame presser saying, I just heard from the head of NFL refs who told me that they blew it. He quotes, here's the quote. Much like normal people, I probably didn't come out of my room. I ate ice cream and watched Netflix for three straight days. <laughs> That's living your best life. <laughs> so there's that. What flavor of ice cream do we think? Apparently he even threw out what type of ice cream. Oh. Like what A brand, brand of oh, ice cream. Yeah. I, I would think it's Rocky Road, sir. <laughs> I was just going to say. And if I had to guess... It's Rocky Road. Nice. Um, so what? now we've heard. So after today, we'll have heard from Sean Payton. We even got a quote from Payton. We'll hear from the commissioner. Maybe it'll be like the conversation about what he said and whether it satisfied anybody. And then I think, I think by tomorrow, this time, I kind of think we've moved on to the game. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.